hey there beautifuls welcome back to my channel um again it is shopping day so i'm gonna have another shopping haul for you um like i did last time i'm going to mention all the meals that i have planned because otherwise i forget uh, and you will hear my wash machine and possibly my cats in the background but that's life i hope you enjoy this video and if you do please subscribe like and comment down below and if you have any questions just go ahead and ask my budget um again was 115 pound and I think we spent £111, that was including £2 delivery, so £109 subsequently. So let's get started. So the meals that I have planned um, are burritos, um, sausage casserole times two, because I always have leftovers, um, lasagna times two also. Um, I don't like to make the lasagna in one full go and then put half in the fridge and just reheat it. I hate that, it dries it up and I don't like that. I have a smaller dish, let me just show you. I use this smaller dish instead, which is perfect to just have one half each. And then the next day I'll cook it fresh again, if that makes any sense to you. But I will have the mince mixture already cooked, obviously. Um, but it's not been cooked yet, the second lasagna. Yeah, you'll, you'll get the gist of it. <laughs> Um, quiche with couscous because we have couscous in the cupboards spag bol with spaghetti obviously and garlic bread then we have um, steak with potato slices and cauliflower cheese that I'm going to make we have well we're meant to have I've got homemade wedgies in the freezer because we had potatoes left so I cut them up in wedgies put herbs and spices on it uh, parboiled them and put them in the freezer meant to have them with chicken steak breaded chicken steak but I cannot for the life of me find any that have them in stock so I'm gonna have to every other day maybe just run to Asda and just have a look that they're back in to get them um and then it'll be a four pack so therefore I'll get um I'll have two steaks left to then have that with couscous or something else as well so that'd be another meal then your chili cheese bites and mac and cheese ravioli on toast um chicken tonight mushroom pasta with chicken <laughs> Um, I'll show you the sauce in a minute and the my homemade chicken curry times two. So um, we have six pint of milk here, tropical juice because my husband does now and again. I love juice. At the moment, I've got far too much heartburn to be dealing with acidic stuff. I will probably try it, but I'm all water, water at the moment, and I hate water. But my body is craving water. It's ridiculous. We got loads of mushrooms for the spag ball, the burritos, and lasagna and the curries so we've got three of them we've got carrots for the sausage casserole well for everything i tend to put it in all my meals to be honest uh, red onion i've got another three set of well a three pack of peppers i have three in there which was the one with the green pepper so i got the red and yellow one type of thing just so i can bulk all my meals out aubergine and courgette for my sausage casserole these are the best sausages you will ever put in your sausage casserole. I pre-cook these in the oven, make them nice and crispy and brown. Then I cut them up into little pieces and add them to the slow cooker. And that adds immense amount of flavour. It is amazing. Um, big pack of mince. We do have, I think that's 500 grams. It's not massive. But I can get four portions out of that mince. And I have two in there. So that gives me six portions to make the burritos the spag ball and the lasagna and still possibly have maybe a portion left over to make something else. I really wanted these, so I got them. They were a pound, so I bought them. Um, and they're only little as well, so I like that. Um, we got great cheese for all my meals. Then we got the extra mature block cheese. The chilli cheese bites I was on about and the mac and cheese bites for my husband. These are obviously for the sausage casserole. Passata for my spag ball, chopped tomatoes for my spag ball, lasagna, burritos. It's like the base for the sauce, really. Coconut milk for the chicken curry. Um, this is the sauce that I saw. Never tried it, but creamy mushroom sauce. I thought that would be really nice with chicken and basmati rice. And we do have basmati rice. So I got the sausage casserole mix, the white lasagna sauce. As you guys know, if you've watched my videos before, I don't like making it. And I definitely do not like the Slimming World version. I will not give this up. White lasagna sauce is amazing. Just to show you up here, I already have like chili con carne mixes here that I'm going to do the burritos with. Then I've got the basmati rice for the curry. 
Um, what else have I got? Pasta and sauce is also a meal. That's just like an emergency meal if we can't be bothered to cook. Got another chili con carne and another chili con carne. Got a lot of them. And then we've got three couscouses, which hopefully two of them will be using. So it'd be nice to just get rid of them to have a new pile of stock come in with better dates, if that makes sense. That'll go, that'll go. We do have jacked potatoes left in the freezer, so that'll probably go. This is custard. Um, this will probably go because there's just one portion for chicken curry left. And then my stock pots, which might be used. Also, I have butternut squash soup that I was going to make. But, guys, it was this big. It was tiny, so I give it back. And I'm going to sauce my own in a shop at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are our favourite yoghurts. The banana chocolate flakes. So I've got ten of them, obviously. we got the cauliflower florets, which I'm going to make the cauliflower cheese with. I do have broccoli in the freezer for my husband as well. Garlic granules, nutmeg, which goes um, into the Slimming World Cabanara. Onion granules. Now this I only got because I didn't want to forget next time we make carbonara, so I got that. Um, we're proper into vanilla lattes at the moment. We do love Costa, but it's quite expensive, so we do like to also just have one at home, um, which just ends up a lot cheaper. Um, I love these. Um, we got the vanilla ones usually, but I've got the actual Monin vanilla syrup, the big bottle, so I'm using that up at the moment while I've got it. And I really fancied some hot chocolate. Sweet potatoes is meant to go in with the butternut squash soup. So again, that is another meal that's not on the list. Um, but obviously the squash was absolutely mega tiny. So yeah, I'm going to go and sauce a big one. Crispy potato slices, which goes with the steak and the cauliflower cheese. The extra mature cheddar and caramelised onion quiche. That is to go with the couscous. Um, I'm not sure if we'll have a side with it or not. Um... I tried to think of a side, but then my husband said, well, no, the quiche will be enough with couscous. It'll just be nice. Just so it's going to be real simple, I think, that meal. Variety of crisps. My husband recently discovered these and they are really nice. This was a substitute for hula hoops, but because we had them on, they just put a second one on, which is fine. Um, instead of the curly whirlies, curly whirlies, <laughs> instead of the um, quavers, Oh, sorry, what's it? I don't even know. We got this as a substitute, and we, instead of walkers, we got the cheese and onion seabrook, which I love seabrook, so that's fine. Here we have two garlic breads. This is because of the two lasagnas. We tend to half a garlic bread. We might even quarter it and have one in the freezer for backup, whatever. Salted caramel brownie bites, which were meant to be... It's meant to be something else. I can't remember what, guys, but it was meant to be something else. I've just noticed there's, I don't know if you can see. Not really focusing, is it? There's quite a lot of little hairs on there. That's not very nice. Blueberry muffins, love them. I fancy them, so I put them on. We've got some chocolatey squares. They're meant to be the salted caramel ones. Because I personally think that they taste like Frere Rocher. Which is amazing. But... Out of stock, obviously, so they sent me this. It's fine. As you guys know, my husband loves the Belvitas, takes them to work for a snack. Same with the strawberry go-aheads and also the apple go-aheads. Um, everything sweet and chocolate-wise, to me, at the moment, tastes so, so salty. Which I think is my taste buds that have changed during this pregnancy. Um, but these seem to be okay. There's the very, very slight hint of saltiness at the, at the end of the flavour, if that makes any sense. So I put two packs of these on, so hopefully that'll continue so I can at least have something with my brews on a night or something when I have a sweet craving. Because the sweet craving is still there, guys, but the taste is not there when I'm eating it. So that's the problem. I've also put these milk chocolate rounds on, hoping that biscuits is okay for me, but we'll see. If not, my husband will love these. Um, Kit Kat fingers for a change and some caramel Rockies. Just little snack things to, to grab and go. Galaxy Bar which my husband ate last time all by himself because, like I said, everything's salty. Kit Kat Chunky, some caramel wafer bars, his favourite buttons, Galaxy Ripple, which is a lot, and he's really into his minstrels at the moment, so got them. And then we got um, four mini garlic coriander nans. Like I said, we're going to have two portions of curry, so we'll have two mini... Uh, one mini garlic bread each, and we'll have that for the next day as well, or whenever we have it. I'll freeze them if needed. We've got wraps for the burritos. 
and then we'll also have um wraps just for general then whatever god knows what pancakes for my husband as well that he likes to take to work sometimes it was meant to be the king's king's mail one i don't want to say that wrong but this was substitute which hopefully is fine bread and then i've got coconut milk to go with my porridge at work and um, i have been on almond milk but then i thought oh coconut might be really nice so that and then we've got smooth orange juice i fancy it but like i said my hat burn is going crazy but even when i'm trying to avoid things it's still there so i'm just thinking why not just eat and drink what i want and just ram a rennie down my throat so i probably will have some of the juices that i've had here and then just in preparation for little girl we've got one we already got one lot at laundry of non-bio gel just because she's um gonna be a newborn obviously um and so young and her skin is so fresh we're gonna go and i'm not saying branded is better i just for some reason feel like it's gonna be softer and just more i don't know i really don't know why but i got a fairy and we're gonna probably do that until she's maybe two three months old where her skin's a bit more tougher and then just go to the normal non-bio like asda zone or something um but it just makes my mind feel better that i've done what i can if that makes any sense so yeah um drink wise like i said i've had a craving for water so and where i work i don't want to use the waters in the tap so these are for work mainly a big thing of cherry pepsi max um my husband has discovered pepsi max lime which he really likes and then i've got the big creative pepsi max cans we like having cans on hand easy to grab take to work that kind of thing um obviously we do tend to go for things that are on offer i always show you my fridge and what it's like by the time i come around to shopping so this is from last time for burritos, unopened, still in date, so that goes with my burritos. These are all your staples that you tend to just have in the fridge forever till you heat them up. I've got some passata here that's going to go in with um, spag bottle, lasagna, whatever I make first. I believe this is an open can of Pepsi, which I'll probably drink. I bought my husband these yesterday, it was our anniversary yesterday, he loves celebrations. So basically we have passata left, butter, some red Leicester cheese. And a little bit of veg, which these three peppers are going to get used in the next two days for the spag bowl, sausage casserole, that kind of thing. And the tomatoes I'll probably just cut up and put in with the spag bowl. Same with the mushrooms, they're just going to get used up with the steak that we're probably going to have tomorrow. And that is it really. And then obviously some chocolate, that's it. So we've got milk, so we don't have to open the six pinter. And just got all my condiments here. That is it. Did I show you this cupboard? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I remember I did. Um, also to make space for the food prep machine that we're going to have I did this was actually originally I don't know if you remember but this basket was originally up here with all these things on top and then it had all the cans just underneath in a row like in a shop and I thought how can I make more space on here because if I step back guys there's not actually that much counter space there's my toaster utensil holder salt and pepper then it's the hob straight away uh, um, Breville one cup and then literally it was tea, coffee, sugar, machine, and that's it. Like, I needed space for the sterilizer to go in the microwave and when it comes out, the drying rack we're going to use, and the food prep machine. So I was like, what am I going to do without spending money? Got the basket out, put these three up there. So now I've got between the kettle and the coffee machine, which that potentially might move as well. But then we have a nice area here next to the microwave where things will get sterilized and stuff. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about that. If you have any ideas or any items and products that have helped you um, for storage. Or I don't even know, guys. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up because we're 14 minutes in already. So if I've bored you guys, I'm really sorry. But if you've enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe to my channel. I also regular do, uh, regularly do budgeting videos, cash stuffing videos, um, check in and check out at the end of the month. Um, and shopping hauls every two weeks so if you like what you see please subscribe like and comment and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much bye